He was an up-and-coming musician in the early 90s, seen as the next big thing, until a run-in with the law cut it very short. I'm Psycho Rick, and this is the story of Ephraim Lewis. Ephraim Lewis was born on November 27, 1967 in Wolverhampton, West Midlands, England. The youngest of eight children, Ephraim's family was very religious and into music a lot. So much that one time, their father had them form a group called the Lewis Five, kind of a British version of the Jackson Five, with Ephraim as a lead singer. Their father played guitar for the group, yet Due to their fate, they were only confined to religious music. But as time went by, they eventually drifted apart and three of Ephraim's brothers, along with a cousin, went on to form another group called the Trematones. They did that for a good second, but eventually they split apart due to lack of money and success. But the musical dreams of the family really didn't stop until around 1984 when their mother died of a brain hemorrhage. Well, all except Ephraim that is. He still wanted to pursue a music career, but mainly one outside of religious music. So at age 16, he left home. Supporting himself by working in places like gas stations and fast food joints, in 1990, Ephraim was finally discovered by Axis Studio owners in Sheffield, where two years later, he signed with Elektra Records and released his debut album titled Skin. The album sold close to 200,000 copies and fared decent on the U.S. chart, mainly two of the songs, Drowning in Your Eyes and It Can't Be Forever. Yet, The company saw great potential in the guy that they now dubbed the British Michael Jackson. So they sent Ephraim to Los Angeles in hopes that his career would take off more. Sadly, it was cut short. On March 18, 1994, Los Angeles police responded to a call of a naked black man acting strangely. When they arrived at the apartment where Ephraim lived, they found him. Ephraim, supposedly high on methamphetamines or a hallucinogenic drug, then ran from the police where supposedly he started climbing the outside balcony to escape. But once he was on the top floor, was confronted by the police once again to where there was an altercation which resulted in the police department tasing Ephraim in an attempt to calm him down, but they failed. It's said that they tased him three times, which basically resulted in Ephraim falling from the balcony, sustaining massive head injuries. He was taken to the hospital where he was put on life support for several hours until acting on the advice from the hospital basically saying that he'll never recover, Ephraim was taken off and he slowly passed away. His death was ruled a suicide, but many family, friends, and fans argue that the Los Angeles Police Department murdered him with what they describe as careless, reckless tactics. Ephraim's manager paid for his body to be returned back to England as well as the funeral expenses but he didn't attend a funeral due to what is described as a bunch of negative energy from the family. A lot of people attended his funeral for the guy who they once again dubbed the British Michael Jackson and who they feel his life was cut down way too early. Cause had this not have happened, who knows how far Ephraim Lewis would have went. He was 26 years old. I'm Psycho Rick saying until next time. Thanks for watching.